first question, uh, how would you rate the cooperation of the Syrian government uh, with the mission? And um, when it comes indeed to, uh, to, uh, to an assessment of the complexity that plays in hand, I think we have to remember three things, and this is never rhetorical in this particular case. It is an unprecedented effort. It is novel uh, under very sad circumstances, and that always needs to be remembered. A very challenging in-country situation. Security is a big factor in all that takes place. A security is a, a big consideration for the uh, Syrian Arab Republic. It is under its authority and accountability that this operation needs to be conducted. It wants to take due care that all elements are in place. However, security when it comes to access to sites, getting caught in crossfire, direct fire, indirect fire, is a concern, of course, for the joint mission. Myself as, as head of mission, it is also a concern for the authorities that are responsible for the safety of joint mission personnel. When it comes to logistics, we've had supplies arrive from different places, different member states. Uh, the detail in this exercise, it's almost like a supply chain management exercise, which I mentioned also, also to the Security Council. Many items need to come from different countries, be at the same time, travel through Beirut. We were affected for a few days by a customs strike. Snow in the Middle East, I know from New York that is not a rarity, but when it snows in Syria or in Lebanon or in the Holy Land, it can actually paralyze the entire infrastructural system. The countries are not used to that, not to that severity. That had a delay. So when you look at all these factors combined, it's actually still a remarkable achievement that almost everything is now in country, is being pre-positioned, and is already being used. Hence, the first movement could actually take place. The, the first shipment uh, that loaded yesterday, uh, what was exactly the achievement? When it, you ask about the onward destination of the ships, priority one chemicals, as is publicly known and stated on, on many occasions, will be destroyed on board the U.S. vessel uh, by means of hydrolysis. Priority two chemicals will be going to different countries, sub subsequent to companies of these countries having tendered with OPCW for commercial destruction of priority two chemicals. So those destinations are not known. Italy has offered a port where transloading will take place. That is all that is useful to know and out in the public domain, and I think that paints a picture, again, of complexity. You said that we are on schedule for the June deadline. Is that correct? Do you still think that the June deadline I, can I, be met? I didn't say we're on schedule, but I think what we talked about is a collective expectation by the Security Council, of course, full support of the joint mission that looking at the end of June deadline, there, that there's no reason to assume that delays should occur, all things being equal. We also have to remember Syria as a country at war, security situation can shift from day to day. But everything is ready, investment is made, and the authorities have shown that first movements have started to happen. Uh, two questions. Seng Wan Yun from Bloomberg News. Um, what, what options are there for the countries taking on?